Taurus, welcome to your reading. We are going to make this a yours and theirs uh, with shared energy, clarifiers, and advice from spirit at the end. Thank you guys so much for being here. I hope you're doing awesome. Let's get into it. Spirit, angels, guides, ancestors of love and light, we thank you for your help today with Taurus is reading for whatever they and their person cross watchers need to know for the highest good all right let's see what's going on we're gonna make the first column yours Next, theirs, then the shared energies. Then we'll go back and clarify. All right, here we go. You are showing up with the Four of Swords, followed by the Page of Swords and the Sun. Nice. Your person is showing up, the Fool, the Eight of Wands. Six of Coins, very nice. In the shared energies, King of Cups, keeps getting better and better. The Star, and finally in the shared energies, ooh, the Devil. We'll see what that's all about with the clarifiers. The overall energy of your reading today, the Seven of Cups, choices and options. All right, and let's see the subject that brings us here to your reading, the Empress. That is your major arcana card, Taurus. And it could also represent how you feel about your person. It's the ideal energy. You think they're perfect. All right. So, Four of Swords, you are getting your thoughts straight. You're taking a rest, a much needed break, uh, a time out. And uh, again, it's healing, it's meditative, and it is clarifying of our thoughts. Followed by the Page of Swords. This leads you to take another look at things. You gain some clarity, you take another look. You're watching, you're getting ready to make some sort of decision, it looks like, or perhaps have some communication of some sort, deliver a message. And finally, the sun, the outcome you're looking for, your intention, Taurus, is bliss, happiness, success. All the joy on steroids. All right, your person is showing up, the fool, excellent. It is all about new beginnings, taking a risk. Let's put ourselves out there. Let's have a fresh start. I'm ready. That's what they're saying. Followed by the eight of wands, speaking of communication, they're ready for that energy exchange to happen, uh, however it comes in. And finally, the Six of Coins. They're looking for balance. Yeah. Everybody on the same page. So, gaining clarity with each other. And uh, it's a lot of stability and progress. And feels really good. Really, really good energies. In the shared energies, we have the King of Cups. Uh, that is so much love right there and emotional maturity and experience and it's like two people saying hey we know what we want we know what we're about and we're sure of our hearts um, very supportive and clear energy and it feels really good followed by the star you guys share this wish this is a divine dream and wish and hope for renewal and dreams coming true, miracles happening, all the good stuff. And then we have the devil down here. Uh, I don't know exactly what this is. I can't even speak about it. It's just like showing up out of nowhere. Um, but sometimes they can be things that get in our way. It could be anything, you know, addictions, obsessions, you know, uh, control issues. I don't know. Again, the clarifiers we're going to find out. The overall energy of your reading, uh, looking at options and choices. There's a lot of them that, a lot of decisions or choices to be had up ahead, and uh, there could be some confusion surrounding them. So, with that being said, let's get into it. We'll go ahead and clarify the overall energy of the reading to start. Seven of Cups, please. Show us the Seven of Cups. What does Taurus and their person need to know? 
about these choices. There it is, Three of Wands, Six of Cups, King of Swords, nice. Calling in the king, he makes the masterful decisions using uh, experience and logic. He's aware of his emotions, but he doesn't let them cloud his judgment. So right there, we can clear up the confusion around these choices with the king. And we have the Three of Wands and the Six of Cups. We're waiting to embark on this journey with this soul connection that we have history with. There is so much love here. Um, since you're both showing me you're looking at it and are willing to engage in communication and energy exchange, it looks like you may not be together at this moment, but both of your energies share the same interest here. So let's um, have some fun with clarifiers moving forward. Let's look at the bottom of the deck. The reason we're here, wheel of the year, things are changing. Major changes are afoot right here with the wheel turning in your favor, in both of your favors, it looks. All right, let's take a look at the Four of Swords, how you're showing up here, Taurus, on this time out, getting your thoughts straight. Thinking about a new opportunity to build some stability from the ground up. So yeah, something must have happened. Things must have, you know, been knocked down or torn apart or fallen apart at some point. We have the High Priestess listening to your intuition, letting it guide you as you get your thoughts clear. That's excellent. Knight of Swords so that you can take action. You're feeling inspired to take action once you gain this clarity, but it's leaning towards building something new here with your person and it's like you have to start over the reason we're here the sun yeah no kidding first repeating energy guys pay attention because it's extra highlighted it's beautiful all right happiness and success on steroids let's look at the full how your person is showing up new beginnings and willing to take that risk take that leap of faith which means you know what they're not sure there are no guarantees we have to start over ace of pentacles full new beginnings and there it is temperance balance and healing patience time willing to put in that work and the Six of Wands for success in reaching our goals together, crossing the finish line on this journey. Uh, your person has left an old way of thinking and they are heading towards a brighter future. Calmer waters, things are getting better, they're improving, and both of you are heading in this direction. The reason we're here at the bottom, the Knight of Wands, like you with the Knight of Swords, they feel inspired to take action as well. Nice. All right, let's look at the King of Cups. In the shared energy, both of you guys come in with this mature love, experienced love, knowing what you want. You guys know who you are. You know what you want. You've known each other for a long time with that Six of Cups in the overall. Show us the King of Cups in the shared energy, please. What does Taurus and their person need to know? Oh, it flew to the floor. Oh, something to do with the Five of Pentacles, followed by the Ten of Swords. Oh, and the Knight of Cups. This is so nice, guys. This is saying that even that, oh, there's been this abandonment and feeling really crappy and fearing all the worst and then it and then it came true ten of swords there was a painful ending followed by the knight of cups it's as if the healing has happened the clarity is is being had between both of you and now you want to deliver messages of love messages of emotion that come from the king of cups energy it's like even though this awful stuff happened between us, 
I still very much love you. I know what I want. And, I, and both of you are on this same page here. That's awesome and amazing. I would love to stop right there because it's just so good. <laughs> Every part of your reading is just so hopeful and wonderful for this connection. And at the bottom, the reason we're here, the Hermit. Yeah, the deepest healing card in the tarot. It shows you guys did the work. Um, it took a long time with temperance over here. and and uh, But the healing has been had. The deep healing has been had. I'm not saying all work is finished in this area, but it's enough that both of you guys are in this in this same shared energy of, yeah, I'm open to bringing this back together because I still love my person. Wow, that's really nice, guys. All right, let's look at the next card you're showing up with. You are Page of Swords. You are taking another look at things. You're willing to open up your heart and your mind to learn what you can, to explore, and be curious enough to take another look, a closer look, so that you can make a decision, so that you can get yourself ready. Page of Swords for Taurus's column, please. Now, energies are fluid. You could identify more with the middle row. Um, so take what resonates, leave the rest. Don't force anything. If it's not your reading, just leave it for someone else. It's perfectly normal. Spirit picks who needs these messages. But there are lots of Tauruses out there that are experiencing these energies, I imagine, at this time. All right. And Page of Swords. Look at that. The Seven of Swords. The Magician. The Eight of Pentacles. At the bottom, the Two of Pentacles. It looks like, Taurus, that you're examining, taking another look at Seven of Swords um, when someone left. I don't know if it was you or them, um, but manifesting mode for sure to keep looking deeper into the leaving that's troubling you and or else you wouldn't be taking a second look um, going back and forth it has you feeling doubt that's what this is it's back and forth in your mind in your page of swords student mind as you take another look to learn more about the leaving the seven of swords uh, whether it was you that left or them that left or sort of a combination of both um, you are in Eight of Pentacles mode, just taking a like, repetitive look at this, trying to manifest some kind of decision, some kind of clear, like an understanding, that's what it is, an understanding of what the heck happened and what to do about it. Um, should a situation arise where whoever feels like leaving, what do we do about it? How do we work it out? And you're progressing here. As you continue to look at it, um, it feels like you're, you're undecided and you have doubt, but it's just, it's progress that you're looking at it. Very, very good that you're, you're finally open to this because your heart has been there all along. Your energy has been there all along, but you've blocked it off and so this is helping you gain your clarity and understanding and how to fix it how to um, fix it in the sense of like I said not having it happen again the leaving whoever did whatever let's look at your person showing up with the eight of wands this energy exchange ready for rapid communication action Maybe some traveling. Show us the Eight of Wands, please, for Taurus's person. And we have the Page of Pentacles investing in this, making the initial investment, time, energy, resources, what have you. 
uh, with the Nine of Wands cautiously, though. I'm here. I'm, I want to do it. I'm definitely interested in doing it. But I'm guarded. And I don't have all my trust yet. Cause, because of the wounds of the past. Uh, but, but nonetheless, determined to still do it. Uh, and we have the Two of Wands. Thinking very much long term with you, Taurus. About the future. Trying to pick the pathways that will get us there. To get us where we want to go and the reason we're here the chariot the vehicle to victory absolutely it's their intention and your intention so far everything's very cool we have the star coming up in the shared energy spirit what does Taurus and their person need to know about the star please this divine healing and renewal following the inspiration of their dreams and wishes miracles happening show us the star you get a little story here yes you do I'm not putting it back there are no mistakes look the first card up the star shared wishes Two of Cups, this divine love and partnership. Both of you guys come in with your love cups filled. The Eight of Cups, somebody disconnected from their heart and walked away. Ooh, there it is. We have some, this is judgment, some transformative energy showing up, making a decision to transform, following that whole, you know, here we are. We have this wish to be together. We are a soul connection to a cup, six of cups over here. Uh, somebody disconnected from their heart space. You guys both transformed. I mean, this applies to both of you. You both have transformed. You both went your separate ways. You both feel the same way about each other. Look at that. Next card up, four of wands. This speaks to the stability of a commitment, a committed relationship. Transforming. It's like you left. Then you transformed, and now we have the committed relationship again. We do have the shadow sides showing up, which is the, in this deck, it's the exact same card right here coming up at the end, the devil. So there is something here we need to take a look at to be aware of. It's just to see what's in our way, what possible unhealthy thing is, uh, is lurking. We all have it, and uh, the more we face it, the better we deal with it. So that is showing up also having to do with this commitment and this dream and we have the four of swords which is exactly how you showed up over here you're both on this time out you're both getting your thoughts clear and it is it is your wish and dream to do so it shows your intention and all the energies that are shared you both have something unhealthy tied up to this commitment um, and uh, but, I mean, you're both on the same page. You both want to get clear about it. I mean, showing up with the Four of Swords right after the Shadow Side shows that you want to get this straightened out. You want to be clear so that you can take the actions necessary to complete this dream. It's beautiful. And at the bottom, the reason we're here, Queen of Cups. Yeah, perfect match to the King because we have a perfect match here. That's why, duh. <laughs> Okay, let's move on to your energy, the sun, this desire for ultimate bliss and joy to overflow in your life. It's just so much success and happiness. Show us the sun. This person makes you really happy, really, really happy. Okay. We've got Two of Pentacles, Ace of Wands. Getting a little story here, too. Let's see how it works out. We'll, we'll talk about it individually so it's not too confusing. Two of Pentacles going back and forth. Some doubt uh, about this bliss and happiness ace of wands this opportunity that you know you have before you it's got the divine's blessing on it to move forward and take some kind of bold action 
Nine of Pentacles, Knight of Wands. Hmm, it looks like you showing up. Yep, vehicle to victory, just acting on your uh, passions and going for it. That's you, the High Priest, also known as the Hierophant. Empowered, feeling your best self. For the Queen of Cups, that's your person. That's how you feel about your person. And finally, the Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, absolutely. The sun makes perfect sense over here. Absolutely. It's beautiful. Beautiful. Yes, there's doubt about these this bold action that you're about to take toward the success. You're you're single now and you're doing fine on your own. You've built your own life, you got your resources, you got your friends, your garden's lush, things are good. It's like why, you know <laughs> why mess with that? Why? Because Knight of Wands, because you're inspired to follow your passions this person is very playful with you you have a lot of fun with this person hence this person making you very happy uh the time of your life kind of thing so you get in the in the chariot and you just go for it and you feel empowered going after the love of your life queen of cups perfect match to the king and um and just that ideal love energy for what for your ten of pentacles for everything you ever wanted to manifest in the ideal to be complete it's your treasure chest of man now my life is perfect that's how you feel about your person it's amazing and at the bottom yeah the reason we're here it's the page of cups because you have all the hope for this page of cups is all about hope my heart is open and I'm willing to learn and look at it more and be there. I'm invested with my heart, with all the hope in the world. It's beautiful. And positive mindset, positive attitude goes along with this. Um, so you're showing me, you know that's important too. And even though you have doubts to a pentacles that creep in every now and then, um, this trumps that for sure. All right, let's take a look at your person showing up with their desire for the balance to come into play. Everybody being on the same page, clear-headed and stable and fair and just feeling uh, grounded and really, really um, abundant. Stability and balance. Show us the six of coins for Taurus's person. Three of Swords, the Hangman, the Empress. There it is. There it is. The reason we're here for this reading to begin with. Uh, bringing in the balance to this situation that happened about uh, the heartache that happened between the two of you to get to the most balanced energy, the most ideal, perfect energy, so that none of that stuff is in the way. Because your person is recognizing that if there is that residual in the background, that the first time there's like a, a difficulty, an argument, a tension, you know, that happens in, in any relationship, the first time we have something, our memory physically, mentally, emotionally uh, reverts back if it's not completely in balance and healed and just everybody on the same page having the understanding of what happened. The hangman, gaining perspective on the balance, uh, making sure to take a look at everything in the most honest way so that we can have this, this empress energy. It's how they feel about you and it's how you feel about them. Uh, it, it, and it's very empowering. It has this feminine empowerment that both you guys show up with this energy. Let's look at the bottom, the reason we're here. Yeah, this is in your strength or their strength or the strength for both of you is what they're interested in. Um, so that we are strong, we tame the inner beast of our doubts and our pains of the past and we gain balance over the situation. Complete balance. The Empress is grounded, creative, nurturing, attractive, uh, abundant, and always wonderful. 
and uh, very, very desirous energy. Like I said, you guys both think each other is perfect, and you want to make sure that you are both on the same page when it when it comes to that past betrayal that happened between the two of you. Because I think you both might feel it uh, in that way, and they're concerned about it. They're facing it, and it's a strong suit. Very nice. Let's take a look at the devil. Why the devil is the devil here? Well, just looking at if we hold on to that past emotional pain and hurt, that if it's not fully dealt with, that could be part of it. Let's see what's going on. Why is the devil here? Help us understand for Taurus and their person what this energy is about. What do they need to look out for with the devil, please? Because they're both showing up beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Show us the devil. What do we need to be concerned with? What could get in our way? That came out with conviction. The Queen of Pentacles. The Eight of Wands. The Six of Pentacles. At the bottom the full. Uh, yeah, this is more of the same of what your person was just speaking about, and perhaps what this two of pentacles over here is, this doubt that you have. It's just a small amount. It's only a two of pentacles at the very bottom of things, and you have all this amazing energy on top. Uh, your person here showing up saying, I'm concerned about the balance. I want us to both be on the same page when it comes to the things that happened in the past and getting back to our best selves so that doesn't get in the way. We need to pause and take a look at it. And in the shared energy, you're both showing me a sense of the Queen of Pentacles is all about nurturing the Eight of Wands, energy exchange, Six of Pentacles everybody on the same page when it comes to this new beginning in other words you guys you guys need to talk about this because if you don't and you're not on the same page you don't do the work of this this last little bit that still is here underneath even though you're feeling excited and you're entertaining the idea of coming back to each other um It's, uh, it's imperative that you not only have one conversation about it, but you really address it to nip it in the bud. We can't just have one conversation. We have to revisit it. Um, energy exchange, Queen of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles. Making sure we get on the same page and nurture the balance. That's what that is. Queen of Pentacles is nurturing. Six of Pentacles is balance and on the same page with the eight of wands in between energy exchange this is what we have to look out for it is the not a terrible devil at all it's just something that could get in your way unhealthy behavior patterns like if we're just having such a good time we might not address this we might not set aside time to have our couples therapy talks or whatever you want to you know and every time we feel a little ping of I might get hurt I remember what happened in the past you know, every time we have that, um, if we don't address it every single time, that's when it could build up to some kind of thing that could get in your way for sure is what Spirit is saying here with these cards. So it has to do with your new beginning and you want to do it at the beginning. You want to start out this way, addressing it. I hope that makes sense. Okay, so let's pull some advice or cards at the end here for um, a message from spirit to close off the reading for Taurus and their person as they work toward each other in a clear-headed clear-minded king of swords four of swords way because they are definite soul connections they haven't embarked on this yet it looks like but it is on the precipice of embarkment <laughs> Okay, Spirit, what message do you want to close this reading off with, please, for Taurus and their person? What say you? 
for the highest good of Taurus and their person, the soul connection relationship, maturing, still loving each other. Look at that. Love it. Queen of Cups. Beautiful cards. Absolutely beautiful. Ace of Cups. Oh, I'm going to cry. This is great. Eight of Coins. Okay, fair enough. It's going to take some work. Eight of Coins. Uh, but what a wonderful thing to work on. Queen of Cups, it's forgiveness. It's the deepest of love. It's all emotion and love, love, love. Um, highly spiritual and um, intuitive and just really, really supportive, loving energy to carry this forward on this journey that you both are working on. And Spirit is blessing uh, also. Uh, with this ace of cups aces are always supported by the divine if you put in the work it's always all the aces are if you put in the work because they're seedlings they're the very beginning it's a brand new start to have this love in your life again uh, I was right you guys aren't together at this point or you're, or you're just about to um, embark on this journey is what this particular read, whoever this is for um this opportunity is beautiful. I hope you both see the, this reading. But Spirit will make sure whoever needs to see it will see it. I pray. The bottom of the deck, the mentor. This is the same as the Hierophant. It's your, um, it's your major arcana card, Taurus. Uh, but it's all about alignment, being in alignment with forgiveness and love and the purity of heart, the kindness of, ki of kindnesses with a new opportunity being in alignment and being willing to work on it it's going to take regular work it's not just like I said one time conversation or a couple conversations and we're you know we should be good uh, -uh. it's regular repetitive work so we build the skills that we need to nip the past completely in the bud and finish the healing that is uh, ready to be had here so you guys can enjoy the rest of your lives together because you are all about the love, you guys. Oh, what a beautiful reading. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed that. I certainly did. Uh, please hit the like, subscribe. Let's get this channel over 500 and the watch hour is up. Uh, I had taken some time off, so everything went back to zero. And I'm trying to start over again. I'd like to do some live readings for you guys. So we got to get the numbers up a little bit. And then I can uh, answer your questions live as you have them. It'll be a lot of fun. And I look forward to it. So with that, have a blessed one. And I look forward to reading for you guys next time. Take care.